Over 60% of older adults report feeling mentally slower in the evening. That's not a guess. It's data. And yet most people brush it off as just getting old. But let me be honest with you. After 30 years of listening to patients describe this fog, this strange quieting of the mind after dinner, I can tell you something with confidence. It's not your memory that's the problem. It's your blood flow. I've seen it again and again. People in their 60s and 70s who still read, still think clearly, still engage until the sun starts to go down, and then comes the mental drag. You lose your train of thought. You walk into a room and stand there unsure of why. You reread the same sentence three times and nothing sticks. Sound familiar? That's not dementia. That's not the end of anything. That's your brain running low on fuel. See, your brain is only 2% of your body's weight but it uses over 20% of your oxygen. And oxygen arrives through one system only, blood circulation. Now here's the twist. By age 65, your blood vessels become less flexible, especially the ones leading to key thinking regions in your brain, the frontal cortex, the hippocampus. Less flexibility means less flow. Less flow means less clarity. But here's the part no one talks about. You don't need drugs to fix this. You don't even need supplements. You just need food, the right food at the right time. Tonight I want to show you three vegetables that improve blood flow to the brain gently, naturally, and in a way that works while you sleep. These aren't exotic. They're probably already in your kitchen, but when used intentionally, they become one of the most powerful tools for keeping your mind sharp after sunset. And the third one I'll share might just change how you feel by the end of this week. If you're new here and you care about staying clear-headed as you age, consider subscribing to Pure Health Tips. This channel exists for people like you. Now let's begin not with a supplement or a theory, but with something simple, red, and surprisingly powerful. You've seen tomatoes your whole life in salads, soups, sauces. But what you may not realize is that this simple fruit holds one of the most powerful brain-restoring compounds for older adults, lycopene. Lycopene is a natural antioxidant, but more importantly, it's a compound that affects how your blood vessels behave. As we age, our vascular system becomes less elastic. The walls of our arteries stiffen. Blood doesn't move as freely. This hits the brain first, especially the deep structures responsible for memory and decision-making. A study published in the Journal of Nutrition and Aging in 2021 found that older adults with higher lycopene levels had significantly better blood flow in the prefrontal cortex, the area of the brain that manages short-term memory, attention, and planning. Even more interesting, the study showed that lycopene helped reduce neuroinflammation, a hidden factor in age-related cognitive decline. When blood vessels become inflamed, they don't dilate properly. The brain receives less oxygen and fewer nutrients. Over time, this creates a pattern of fatigue, forgetfulness, and poor focus that can feel like early-stage dementia, but isn't. What lycopene does is quietly powerful. It helps reduce that inflammation. It softens the vessel walls, and it allows more oxygen-rich blood to reach the places in your brain that are struggling to stay sharp. Another clinical trial from the International Journal of Molecular Sciences in 2020 reported that lycopene supplementation improved cognitive performance in older mice exposed to oxidative stress. While that may sound like a lab result, the real-world effect is simple. Tomatoes help your brain breathe again. I remember a woman named Alice. She was 74, a retired teacher. She told me, I read the same page three times before anything sticks. I asked about her diet. Tomatoes weren't there. We made one change. Roasted tomatoes with olive oil five evenings a week. Three weeks later, she said, I'm not skipping lines anymore. It feels like the fog is thinning. That's not a miracle. That's circulation. The key is bioavailability. Raw tomatoes contain lycopene, but it's locked tight in the cell walls. To release it, you need heat and healthy fat. That's why cooked tomatoes, like in soups or roasted with olive oil, work best. The combination of warmth and fat unlocks lycopene, making it easier for your body to absorb and deliver to your brain. A small portion is enough. Half a cup of cooked tomatoes or a small roasted tomato with dinner. Do that consistently, not once in a while, and you give your brain a fighting chance to recover clarity. Timing matters too. Consuming tomatoes with your evening meal allows your body to absorb and distribute the lycopene during sleep, when brain recovery is at its peak. 
If you've been feeling mentally tired after sunset, this is one of the simplest changes you can make. No supplements, no side effects, just a fruit you've ignored, quietly working to open your mind again. In the next part, we'll look at something stronger. It doesn't just open blood vessels, it thins the blood slightly, helping it reach your brain faster, deeper, and with more oxygen. You've probably chopped it hundreds of times, but tonight you'll see it in a new light. If tomatoes are gentle support for your brain's blood vessels, onions are the quiet force that clears the path. Inside every layer of an onion lies a flavonoid called quercetin. It's bitter, sharp, and highly active in the human body. And for older adults, it may be one of the most underrated compounds for restoring circulation to the brain. Unlike lycopene, which works on the structure of blood vessels, quercetin acts on the blood itself. Specifically, it reduces platelet aggregation, the tendency of blood cells to stick together and form clots. This is especially important as we age. Older adults often have thicker blood and slower circulation, especially in the small, fragile vessels that feed the brain. Quercetin thins the blood just enough to keep it moving smoothly, not in a dangerous way, but in a natural, food-based way. It supports microcirculation, the delivery of oxygen and nutrients through the tiniest capillaries in your brain. A clinical review published in the Journal of Nutrition and Brain Function in 2022 highlighted quercetin's role in improving cerebrovascular flow. Researchers noted that regular dietary intake of quercetin-rich foods was linked to enhanced blood perfusion in the hippocampus, the region of the brain responsible for memory formation and retrieval. Another study from Oxidative Medicine and Cellular Longevity in 2021 showed that quercetin not only supported blood flow, but also reduced oxidative stress markers in the brain. This is critical because high oxidative stress damages the inner lining of blood vessels, making them less responsive and more prone to blockage. But what makes onions unique is their dual action. While quercetin works internally, the sulfur compounds in onions help reduce inflammation in the vascular system. These sulfur compounds are responsible for the strong smell when you cut into an onion and for the tears in your eyes. But inside your body, they trigger a different kind of release. They activate the production of glutathione, one of the body's most powerful natural antioxidants. Glutathione helps maintain the integrity of blood vessel walls and prevents the kind of silent inflammation that narrows arteries over time. When these two effects combine, the thinning of the blood and the calming of vessel walls, something powerful happens. Blood reaches places it couldn't reach before. Oxygen flows into the deeper layers of your brain where fog and fatigue used to take hold. These benefits are not theoretical. They've been measured, documented, and replicated in lab settings. You don't need supplements. Just onions used regularly and wisely. Red onions have the highest quercetin, but all types help. Light cooking softens flavor while keeping most of the benefit. Sauteing with olive oil is one of the best ways to support absorption. Just half an onion a day is enough. Even a few slices at dinner can support better brain blood flow over time. Make it a habit, not a side note, because better flow means better thinking, and better thinking brings life back into focus. Up next, we'll explore a green vegetable that works on a deeper level. It doesn't thin blood or soften vessels. It opens them from the inside through a powerful biological pathway that activates as you sleep. This one may be the strongest of all. We've seen how tomatoes soften the vessels and how onions help the blood move through. Now let's talk about the vegetable that opens those vessels from within, giving your brain more oxygen, more clarity, and more strength while you sleep. Spinach doesn't just support blood flow. It triggers a biological mechanism that allows blood vessels to expand, not through force, but through chemistry. That mechanism is called nitric oxide activation. And spinach is one of the most natural and effective ways to turn it on. Spinach is rich in dietary nitrates. When consumed, these nitrates are converted into nitrites by bacteria in your mouth. Then inside your body, those nitrites become nitric oxide, a gas molecule that relaxes and dilates your blood vessels. This process is especially helpful during the evening and night when your body enters repair mode and circulation slows naturally. The result, more open arteries, better oxygen delivery, and deeper nourishment to the brain regions that suffer first from poor flow. 
A study published in the Journal of Clinical Nutrition in 2020 followed adults aged 65 and older who consumed a nitrate-rich spinach beverage daily. After just 10 days, researchers observed a measurable increase in cerebral blood flow, particularly in the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, an area tied to executive function and mental flexibility. Another experiment reported in Frontiers in Aging Neuroscience in 2021 found that participants who ate nitrate-rich greens before bed had better next morning cognitive performance, especially in tasks involving reaction time and focus. What's striking is not just the improvement, it's the speed. Unlike structural changes which take months, the nitric oxide response can begin in a matter of hours. It's a dynamic system. It listens to what you eat and it responds almost immediately. The effect is even stronger when your blood vessels are already inflamed or narrowed, which is often the case in people over 60. When nitric oxide is produced, the smooth muscle and vessel walls relaxes. This allows blood to travel more easily through narrow or restricted areas like the tiny arteries that feed your memory center. But there's a catch. This system only works if you preserve the nitrate conversion pathway. And that means avoiding antibacterial mouthwash around mealtimes. It sounds simple, but it matters. Mouth bacteria are part of the chain that allows spinach to work its magic. Kill them and you break the link. That's why I always recommend eating spinach in the evening after your final brushing, but before mouthwash. Let the body do what it was built to do. Cooked spinach is easier to digest and provides a concentrated dose. A half cup of lightly steamed spinach delivers roughly 250 milligrams of nitrate, enough to stimulate a healthy nitric oxide response. You don't need to juice it, powder it, or take it as a pill. Just eat it, warm, simple, consistent. Full. I remember a man named Frank. He was 71, sharp in the morning, but foggy by 70 p.m. He added spinach to his dinners for 12 nights straight. By the end of week two, he said, I didn't forget my parking spot. That hasn't happened in months. This isn't magic. It's science working with nature. And it's exactly the kind of change we can lean on as we age. Steady, proven, and safe. Spinach may not look like brain food, but in the quiet hours of the night, it becomes one of the strongest allies your mind can have. In the next part, I'll show you how to bring all three of these vegetables together into a simple daily rhythm. Nothing complex, just a small plan that creates big momentum for your brain. By now, you've seen how three simple vegetables can each support a different part of your brain circulation system. Tomatoes soften the vessels, onions clear the path, spinach opens the flow from within. But real change doesn't come from knowing, it comes from doing. And the best way to begin is by building a rhythm, a daily pattern that's so easy it becomes second nature. Here's how I recommend using these foods in a way that works with your body, your routine, and your natural recovery cycles. Start your morning light. You don't need a heavy breakfast to help your brain. Instead, focus on hydration and movement. Your first real opportunity to support circulation begins with lunch. At midday, add a few slices of red onion to your plate. You can stir them into a salad, lay them over a piece of grilled chicken, or lightly saute them in olive oil for warmth and digestion. The key is consistency. Even a small amount delivers the quercetin your blood needs to move freely. In the afternoon, go about your day as usual. There's no pressure to prepare anything special. Just avoid skipping meals. An empty stomach makes blood sugar dip, and that can mask the effects of better circulation. In the evening, that's when you stack the benefits. Start with a small side of cooked spinach, steamed or sauteed, not overcooked. Half a cup is enough. Make this the base of your meal, not just a side note. Next, add tomato, roasted, simmered into a sauce, or blended into a warm soup. Cooking releases lycopene, and pairing it with olive oil helps your body absorb more of it. One small tomato or half a cup of sauce is all you need. If you're short on time, you can combine them into one dish, a simple spinach and tomato stir-fry with onions and garlic, or a warm vegetable soup with all three ingredients simmered together. This isn't a diet, it's a gentle practice. You don't need perfection, just presence. Doing this five days a week is enough to see an effect. Not overnight, but gradually. More mental clarity, less evening fog, a sense of being more present with others and with yourself. And once you feel it, you won't want to go back because nothing feels better than feeling like yourself again. 
In the final part, I'll leave you with a thought, a reminder that even if your mind has felt dull or scattered lately, it's not too late to bring it back and you won't have to do it alone. If you've made it to this point, I want to thank you, not just for watching, but for staying open, for giving your brain the chance to be heard and the care it deserves. You see, memory loss, confusion, and mental fog are not signs that your brain is broken. They're signals, signals that your brain is still trying, still working, still hoping for a better supply of what it needs. And now you know how to give it that supply not with medication, not with expensive programs, but with three ordinary vegetables used purposefully, used consistently, used with care, tomatoes, onions, spinach, simple foods, powerful effects. Because when blood flows freely, the brain lights up. And when your brain lights up, so does your life. You don't have to accept the fog. You don't have to settle for fading clarity. You still have time to feel sharp, to feel present, to feel like you again. And if no one has told you this lately, let me be the one to say it. It is not too late. You are not too far gone. Your brain is still listening. So start tonight. Make one change, then build on it. Quietly, steadily, faithfully. If this video helped you see your brain in a new light, please consider liking it. Share it with someone who needs to hear this message. Leave a comment below, even just one line, to remind others that they are not alone. And if you'd like more videos like this, you can subscribe to Pure Health Tips. This is a journey worth taking, and I'll be here walking it with you.